Hey, 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 hey. What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Tech Savvy. Hey, today is our Sunday. It's day two. I'm out here with my neighbor Art Vasquez. Vasquez. Uh he's um he, he's helping me uh put my slingshot back together. Like I said, this is day two. Uh we're working on the saddlebags. As you can see, the, the the dealership has already put on the sling shade at the top right there. Uh, they also put on the saddlebags, but we had to take them back off and uh, we'll be going over how to put it back on uh, 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 On another video, but this morning while it's cool uh, He's gonna display how he put my set my uh, My fender saddlebag my, my fender saddles on uh, And give you a description of, of go through the method of what he did to put it on so here's back Here's my neighbor art. How you doing? I and like I said he gonna show you how he took, uh, how how he put one on, how he took them off, and we are gonna go through the steps and let him uh, show you what he did. Okay, uh, it's on you, but all right. Okay, how we started is as the configuration of the of the water catcher I called it because I drove it in the rain. It had rivets inside of here, just like here, and so you'll take a a uh, small bit. It's a one eighth. We'll go inside of here. You'll drill it down a little bit, but you got to stop w once you uh, uh, penetrated. Oh, probably about oh, about an eighth of an inch or so, because it starts spinning. And what you want to do once it, it, it what it does, it leaves a mark because it, it gets so hot. You can go try and go slow, but it won't do any good. I tried it on that side, and so this way I've got it where it didn't leave that much of a mark. And once I drill that out, then I pry this up with, with this tool here and pop that top off. And then what you're ended up having is you got this. These are the rivets that come out of the bottom. So they come like this. And I pop this top off and then push this out. And you have those. There's two of them. That has to be disconnected. That's, that's how they do it. I don't like it, but that's how they do it. Uh, then you go down you're done with the drilling at this point and then there's four t40 they're they're t40 um bits and i use a gun i mean there's any way you can do it by hand you can do it by uh you know, various ways but you know i found this worked the best and there's four locations there's one down here on the bottom it's hard to see and then there's three up here so you'll take you'll take those off Turn your thing off. Make sure you're going the right way. And what I do is loosen the top one so that it's, so that it's still attached and hanging. And then I'll go down and do the bottom one. You know, if, once you do this for a while and you locate it, it's real easy. It's so easy on. You don't have to fork them out real good. And they'll come out real easy. And that's what your, your byproduct you're taking out. That's what it looks like. There's four of them. During this installation, you're going to only use three of them when you put them back on. Then you get the next one out. And it's literally this easy. Take those out, take that out, take that out. Set those aside. And then take this. And then, and this is a, can be done by one person. And then it slides. And if you look at this lip right here, 
there's an angle where 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 when you have to use it again or you want to go back to it you just slide it in bolt it up and then you have to use screws up here if you wanted to go back to that configuration this right here i don't know how many you know how uh what's this on there originally the fendi this is the fendi yeah th this was originally on there and i drove this thing in the rain to help carnell move it and this thing was nothing but it caught water like crazy right here it was full of water so he's doing a good thing with the other boxes that you set that aside for later years if you want to sell them or use them on somebody else's and then and before he go into that i want to make sure y'all understand that uh we had to when we took the slingshot down to oklahoma city to get the sling blade uh, shade on uh art was the one that drove it down and when we went back to pick it up he was the one that drove it back so my neighbor art here has more miles on this slingshot than i do uh, he has put about 400 miles going to oklahoma city and back uh, i think that we started out before we left we have just over 500 miles so right now we should be close to 900 miles on this slingshot and my neighbor art has put 400 of it on there in one day so and in the rain and, and in the rain <laughs> all right so go ahead okay so what what we got here is the box it's and so this is what we're doing right here uh oh all right so so you're taking that right here and you shove that in that hole and then they give you a piece of velcro it's a it's a circle and you're placing it over that hole and that that creates a seal and it also puts a a, a deal here for vibration i don't know it, it does touch a little bit but not much these two slots right here it, in my opinion is a, would probably be a good at some point you want to close them off but that's something you may want to do later but then you go back to your installation because those will never be used until you're using something else and then you go back to opening the box as such and in this installation you got your four screws you're only going to use three. Now, there's a 3 8 inch bolt that you'll be installing it with that requires a set of washers and lock rings. Just regular flat washers. I'm going to lay those out so you can see what they are. And they give you more really than what you need what i did on it is i put together a lock washer and a flat washer hmm. it's a tight one And then, since these are not tapered like this one is, these you can go in kind of at any angle, it'll straighten itself out. These, you, they're not going to do it. When you do it for the first time, the best way to do it is to find where you're going, which is right here, and put it in with your hands gingerly and find where the screw line where the threads line up with the other one and it's not it was not easy but once you get it done that first time it'll go in okay okay this is a 10 bolt and so what i did was i run it in there to make sure that i could i could do that and get it going with my hands and, and an old mechanic trick is you want to walk, do like so not really hard just enough to make sure it's good and you can turn it with your fingers because that's what you're going to be doing when you start you want to get that feel of because these are different threads you know that's 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 uh an auger type look and it goes in any angle then it catches well this isn't that way so you don't want to screw your threads up to start off with and then you'll get rid of that bolt because you'll have and save it in your kit because you'll probably need it somewhere else 
and there you only need these three this bolt and this bolt and nut configuration a three eighths with another uh, flat washer it's they give you one more than what you really need okay with the with the box unlocked so that's the only way you're going to install it you're going to set it up like so and it's a little it's a little tedious but if you look through this box straight in you can find the other one when you're doing it for your first time you're gonna have to play with it a little bit get everything clear and you move it around until you find it and there it is and you see like so put your one in you'll know you're at it when you're real close because it's sitting up here level with the lines of the bike you get that one in and let it sit the next one you want to put in is this long-winded booger you got these other two lay those inside the box and then we're going to get this one and we're going to start the lineup process okay okay another tool that that's depending on which which pod you're putting on you may need a a little bit of help if you're by yourself aligning the three bolts that are in here so the best way to do that is is i find this one i had to start it first which it's in there started because that's the threaded one we want to make sure we don't screw up and then what i did is i is i put a bolt up here uh, uh finding it alignment with a with a pin uh a uh a punch and i lined it up and then i put lined it up on here and i put a center one in and then the top one and then the bottom one has got them in there loosely and then the bottom one's on there and then you have the long how long that bolt is you have to run that up and so that's the hard hardest part and i don't have my speed gun i had an attachment that i could put on a gun that uh, these won't fit in here so this one would but i don't have the attachment with me to do this electrically which could be done really easy and so we have to do it the old-fashioned way which is like so and i just push on the back and just take your time and go slow and this is really better to, to use a hand tool than electric because electric sometimes you tend to heat it up and go in and you can strip the threads and then at some point you'll never be able to get it out or you don't have that feel now these are adjustable these are variable adjustable with a milwaukee but not everybody has those i did mechanics for 27 years so i know what happens when you get too far away from your hand tools this way you get a better feel of what's going on so you don't break the head off or strip it to where it won't ever come out and you can look and see how much room I got. And that seems real tight, but there's still a whole bunch to go. And it gets real, starts getting real tight. And if you were doing it with a hand, with a gun, you'd probably heat it up to the point where you could strip it. And just keep level and pressure on it. Just put your finger on the back of the hand tool and just keep going. It seems like you've reached, like your, it seems so tight right there. But if you look at it i still have quite a bit of ways so that's why where a hand tool is better actually than a gun because a gun you probably strip it and i used a lock washer and a flat washer and it's getting tighter And it's really tight. It feels like you want to break the head off. But what you do is look for the seat. Still spin a lot, spin the washer. You don't have to make these so tight that uh, you break it. No spin. No spin, pretty tight. I'll go a little bit more. I still see the lock worker still a little open. There it is. That's as tight as you want it. Now these right here, of course, 
you know, if you put them too tight, they pop. And they just you just keep doing that pop until finally it won't pop no more. So what I do is I, is I use my tool like a like a torque wrench. That's pretty tight. You can almost tell it's real tight. You hear it, and that's tight. And that sucker's solid. You're not gonna be able to put a lot of weight in these. Anyway, that's won't move anymore. See, these are this one doesn't have it. My other one does, where you can set a torque. Right there. And that's won't move anymore. Okay, there you go. That part's done. At this point, you have this bolt left over, and the only thing left to do now is to secure the pod to drill it and we'll close the box and notice these have nice weather seals so when that water is going down this is blocking water from coming in your cab and they're pretty secure I mean and they seem flimsy but that's we'll fix that now we need these flat washers what we're going to do is the is the install okay basically when you go to install the top there is no real perfect way to do it they tell you to push it with your body all the way forward till it stops which is right in this angle right here yeah i have it on the other side we'll show you and you're going to drill and what i took is, is a c-clamp to show you how to hold it and then you only have a little bit of meat under here before you impenetrate the box so you have to make sure your drill hole it does not get into the box now you can there's a lot of other ways you can do it but i figured this inside would look cleaner than outside here because you have the pendency for it to rip so you have more meat and later you can put another another one right here if you'd like if you depending on how much weight you put on your box so i just drilled through with it with the drilling it, and it goes real soft straight on through and line it up and held this right here so when you look at this side it's the same as that side so it's perfectly lined up and that runs the line right here across and then once that in, is in place where's, where's my drill? right here take that and your uh, 3 8 and you just take that and hold your 3 8 in place and then tighten this puppy up don't go crazy because it's a, it's a locking nut under there it'll pull it in when you start eating up the head you know you're tight enough and enough of the bottom has protruded through there so that the uh, lock nut is uh, is in function and then take it off at some other point I want to know why they don't use a rev nut set up on here but right at this point that's all it takes and at that point you are functionally set up there's your box installed all it's very tight you close your top you can look at your alignment and it looks like it was on there from the get-go other than that I mean they don't have a rip a, a nut here there's not a lot of room to put a uh, to rivet it that's why they do a screw and right. that's it let's close the hood and see what it looked like all together that. And there it is, it's a pretty clean line. It's underneath, like it says. It's all underneath, like it shows. If you look at, at an angle, you do see this, but there's nothing you can do about it on that way it's bit. Pretty clean. And it, and it will fix a lot of the water issue if you ever get stuck in a rainstorm. All right. Uh, I want to thank all for helping me out and demonstrating this video. No problem. And, uh, hey, you'll see them again because I'm not finished. <laughs>
we have got we got a lot more stuff to do but we try because it's hot the camera is getting hot too so we have to keep these videos as short as possible y'all stay tuned the next thing i'll be going over is the uh sling shade uh showing showing you how it operate because it's already installed and then i'll go back and get my neighbor and we're going to install the saddlebag so y'all stay tuned for at least two more videos uh pretty soon that's my spiel for the day i hope y'all enjoyed the video thank you y'all have a good weekend gopro stop recording hey 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 hey